Going back to the torrid meteor stream, here is right now the idea that's coming from the new catastrophists that actually go back to 1980 in the British Isles, Victor Klub, William Napier, several others, also some Australian astronomers that theorized that about 25 to 30,000 years ago, a gigantic comet, maybe 50 to 60 mile diameter nucleus or even bigger, came, it was captured into a sub-Jovian orbit, meaning that it's traveling around in the inner solar system between the Sun and Jupiter, that this huge comet began to undergo hierarchical system of breakups, forming ever smaller cometary nuclei pieces that then went under process of breaking up, which ultimately led to the torrid meteor stream. In the early days of, of a cometary destruction like that. This was the comet Anki. Comet Anki, now that's good, that's good. Not, comet Anki wouldn't have been the progenitor comet. It would have been one of the secondary or tertiary comets. Okay from the breakup of the original. Got it. Does that make sense? Yes. In early times, going back 10, 12, 15,000 years ago, this debris has not cleared out. It's very dense within the stream of the torrid meteor stream. The Earth crosses that stream twice each year. So picture this, Jupiter, the sun. The stream comes around the sun. It makes its perihelion passage around the sun, goes out, goes, it, it loops back in just inside Jupiter, like this. And so it's streaming around like this, and it lays close to the plane of the ecliptic, and Earth passes through that stream twice each year in its orbit. When that stuff is coming from its perihelion passage behind the sun, that's the summertime torrids, which occur in late June and early July. Now the Earth is moving, and then it comes to the fall time torrids, that are coming in towards the sun, but coming from apparently space. Now, all meteor streams are named after the constellation that you would look at to see which direction they're emanating from. The Taurids, obviously, are named after the constellation Taurus. And specifically, they're almost, tar the radiant point is almost targeted right on the Pleiades, which is the shoulder of the bull in the classical depictions. We are right now, today, tomorrow, and the next day, in the peak of the Torrid Meteor Street. That's kind of scary.